Never mind, I lied. I'm, I'm sorry. Right, real quick, I have free poetry books back here. I make them for any writer who asks. So if you'd like one, let me know. Um, there's also a flyer in there. We're trying to fund a printer for those books. All right, good luck. So this is a piece where I've been collecting bits and pieces of uh, working, working class people <coughs> stories. Um, it's something that's eventually going to be assembled into a play about a bunch of people that meet in like a bar on a Friday. None of them really know each other. It's just where they gather. Well, this little excerpt that I wrote about Ashtabula. The old brick and mortar lays open, half wrecked, hung open like a wound pouring out the blood and sweat of a thousand craftsmen. The men whose sons' mothers cried when those sons took to the streets. The trail of tears that eventually flooded the river that they used to feed their family. Now poisoned by the sludge belted out in Chemical Alley, where the boys work just enough to afford another fix and meet their dealer at that old brick and mortar. That's all I got for you right now.